DOM. DOM is often refers to document object model is historically any web page on the browser is technically a doc and uh, the document is structured in a specific language which is collection of various tags which we call it as a HTML tags and that can be used or that attributes or properties at IDs, names, class attributes of those tags can be used to identify them. Let's see an example in detail to understand this when we are implementing them. Okay, welcome back. Uh, launch your favorite editor. In this case, I'm going to use Notepad++. We are going to see an example for identifier as we have discussed concept. So we'll see identifier and example of that. I, one of the one of the identifier we'll be using is DOM, which is a document object model example. This is what we're going to see. So as discussed, it has three main key attributes. One we call ID, ID name and class or text of the elements or element itself. So this is what you're going to use. Let's just first save this. So save and uh, we're going to save it. Identifier DOM example dot tag and save. We have seen this and let's minimize this and go to the browser. So let's launch your browser and browser gets launched. So in the browser, we have few things to understand so that we can help uh, interact or make tag UI interact with your browser in more convenient way. Whenever you go in browser, we let's say we say google.com and in the google.com, if you see this web page, web page contains a lot of information. You see, these are all web elements. We call it as a link, which is about link, store link. We have a sign in button. We have search text box. We have a Google search text box. And then you have advertising business link. So we have so many collection. We have image, Google image. We are interacting through some of the action. We can click about link. So about link opens. So it's a click is an interaction or action which we are making. So action and an identifier needs to be there for a statement, tag UI statement. The identifier is you are making tag UI recognize what is about and you are making tag UI to click it. To identify tag UI, perform some action, we need to train tag UI to perform that particular action. It could be done by using the identifier and identifier property, which could be ID, which could. Be. So to find out where to see it, we can see it on a browser. We can go to these three dots, which is customization or settings. Click on that. You have more tools option in the menu, and then you have developer tools. Click on that. So it can open based on your settings. If you don't like this place to be there, you can always put it. So let's put it here and then see how what happens. So if you see here, and if I expand this, the whole this doc, this page, this is called document or document object model or DOM. This is a collection of lot of tags containing HTML. So every web page is built with these characteristics. DOM basically use DOM, which is document object model, which is nested collection of various information, which is called tags, which is HTML tags. You open it on any browser, this would be available and this, you, this helps build web pages. To interact it, we have to use these property elements, which are there in a DOM. That's what the identifier, that is the DOM identifier, which you are going to use. For example, if you need to click about, about has class, you see here, and then it also has text, which is a name, name of an object. It doesn't have ID. We'll come back and see an example which has ID, but you can get these information from or see and get this information. You don't have to get it. If you can just start using it, if it is a straightforward one, but tag UI uses to recognize this element on the screen. If you are using an identifier, DOM identifier to identify an, uh, a link or a button or a text box, then you need to clearly know and it should match. If it does not match, tag UI cannot perform it will error out. We'll see both the condition. We'll see a simple example with the Google and we'll take a little comprehensive example with all these. So let's start an example. So in this case, we have taken this identifier. So we'll say HTTPS 
colon slash slash www.google.com right uh, so this is this basically launches our site launching the web site right or app web app right so this is this is what we are doing and let's say interaction is click and i'm trying to click it say click about so about is a text on the link so we can, i'm directly using the text of the link which is on the about page so tag ui does is it will navigate to google.com search for about text or a name and try to click on that so this is action and this is an identifier i'm using a dom identifier of a dom i'm using name or I, you can basically also call it as a text of of the element itself so the element is link links text the if you see here the link is this is link hyperlink and the name of a hyperlink itself what you can see on the text is about and name of this particular object is also about if you if you want to know that you can click on it you can search you can see a property called name that name is also about as well as this text is also about so we're basically using these two properties which is name and text element to perform a link click so this is nothing but we are using a dom attributes name or text attributes to perform a click so let's see an example and see if it clicks so i'll close this so that there is no nothing on the screen and let's fire our command prompt and uh, let's minimize this and uh, let me put this one on the side of the screen so that we can see it's getting executed so tag ui identify dot tag and click enter so if you see i entered and uh, google.com launched as tag ui or google browser launched and now google.com is launched and it's trying to click about page you see about page is clicked and it, it showed up and then it completes it you get the logic so we'll see a little bit created example we will not use google but we'll use some other site to to see all the properties let's just comment this this we'll come back and use it if you want to so we'll take a site which which, which really i like it which is called Investopedia. So Investopedia is, is a portal for, I'm no mere supporting this, but I like this to learn about finance. Investopedia decides we are launching this site. Try to open our favorite developer tools. So go to these three dots, menu opens, you have a more tools, extend that you have developer tools. Click on the developer tools. You should see developer tools hitting. So now we'll, we'll start on trying to navigate education page. Right. So if I, I want to click on education page, this is what we want to try. So we want to try to click on education page by using a property. So let's try to click and then see what the property it has. So it, I, I'll be using a name property. So first I'll start with the name property. So if you really see the name is in capital letters, which is education. So we'll be using that. So let's go there and let's launch the site which is start writing so let's launch uh, website to so launch website https colon the website name so which was investopedia let's copy the investopedia paste it so this is what launch so we'll see an example of name first what we are going to do is we are going to click on education so which is what we are going to use this link which is education you see here so double click you get the value and you can come back here and you say click name so what we are doing is we are trying to click a link called education and then we, then what we'll be doing is we'll be basically once we are in this link so this looks like this this page looks like this and we'll come back again by clicking on the home screen which is a home screen's uh, logo icon which is investopedia so if we click on this it should basically go back so let's identify this to identify this we'll be using a property called uh, id which is you see here for the link which you have here if you see here this is the link 
and it, it, the moment you navigate to that place it highlighted so we'll be using that link so like search double click it let's take the id so we will be taking say id as click id so what we're doing here is name attribute and uh, we are using it and that is what we are trying to do is click education link in main menu so we are using attributes which is id clicking on logo link slash image id so once we did that so we will be using class let's go back we have uh, this search box so let's try to add it search is this button and it has a class called search icon let's use this search icon to see whether search is clicked so when i click this officially so you see a search dialog box popping up so class attribute click search icon and you know say click search icon okay and uh, let's save this and let's run this so save and we saved it and we already let's close this so that it starts and launch and it navigates to respective so i'm going to keep fire the command prompt so you can have a command prompt we can use c so let's clear so i have a command prompt which is here clear the command prompt minimize your main screen and let's provide our script name which is tag ui identifier dom example and hit enter and see what happens so it launched so browser opens good sign so it will navigate it to investopedia click on education link it clicked it clicked on investopedia and it clicks on search all the three things happened but it happened pretty fast we'll go to our main code to slow down we use that statement which is static wait so we are what we are saying is hey make five seconds delay so when you're clicking it wait for five seconds and go to the next statement so here when you're clicking the logo you wait for five seconds and go to the next statement oh. and again we are saying it here click uh, wait for five seconds and then go to next one so let's minimize this and run and see what happens so it's launched good sign and it went to investopedia and it clicked on education clicked on the home page link and clicked on the search you can see the search over there and done this concludes dom example dom identifier example with all the attributes thanks for watching see you in another one